Hey, welcome to uh, another thing here on the Real DVD Watchers. Uh, this is the update for Wednesday. Uh, on Wednesdays, uh, the, the movie that I have decided to review today is something that, when I first saw it, it was so refreshing to see. Uh, with all the movie movies that were coming out at the time, I felt that this was something special, and I felt that this was truly standalone with the way how it's writing, its use of music, in the cast of predominant people who I don't really like knocked it out of the park in this one. And it's just great. Uh, the movie that I've chosen to review is a Criterion movie. Is a Criterion movie. It is Criterion number 157. It is the Royal, the Royal Tenenbaums. What 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 this movie is about is basically about this man named Royal, played by Gene Hackman. He gets evicted from his hotel where he was living, and he goes and seeks out his family. He doesn't live with his family anymore because uh, him and his wife are separated, but they never legally divorced. Uh, his wife, Ethelene Tenenbaum, played by Angelica Houston, uh, she lives at the old house on Archer Ave, which is this really nice three-story house. Uh, his, son's, his son, Chaz, played by uh, ben, ben Stiller, is this broker type of guy who is concerned with nothing but his children's safety and keeping physically fit. Uh, his adopted da daughter, Mar Margot Tenenbaum, played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Whenever he was introducing Margot as a child, he would always introduce her as her adopted child. Margot is definitely the more abstract one. She's a playwright. She left her house for, for sorry, the Tenenbaum's house for two weeks and returned with a missing finger. Uh, she has been married mul multiple times to multiple people, and she's now married to uh, Riley St. Clair, played by, played by Bill Murray. Um, the other brother... Uh, Richard Tenenbaum, played by Luke Wilson, was a world-renowned tennis player who, after the marriage of his sister, kind of went through a whole big depression thing. He blew the biggest game, game of his life. And he's currently living on an ocean liner somewhere in the South Pacific. Uh, Ethelene's sort of boyfriend is uh, played by Henry... Oh, I forget what the hell... Sorry, not played by. His name is Henry something. I forget what his last name is. But he's played by... Um, oh, God. That's it. Danny Glover, that, that's it. And Luke Wilson down here plays Eli Cash, the, the, the Tenenbaum's family's closest friend and neighbor. So, basically what happens is Royal decides he really needs to get his family back into his life. And so he tells them all that he's dying. So that actually brings all the Tenenbaum children together under one roof again. And just, it's, it's this great story of how a man can manipulate his family in order to get what he wants in the way of just having a family again. But then his family does catch on to what he's doing, but just he still wants that feeling. He still he still need, needs his family in his life, which is really good because he has this great line where he's talking to Danny Glover's character, and he's like, you know, I've always, you know, I've, people have always assumed, and I agree with this, that I'm kind of an asshole. And Danny Glover goes, you know what? Well, I, I don't, I don't think you're an asshole. I just think that you're, a, that you're a son of a bitch. So that's kind of a little bit of a relief on his, on his part. But just for me, this, th this movie, it's, it's a good showing of the human, of the human spirit, and how willing you, and how far you're willing to go for the ones you love. I mean, Royal conned all of his family into getting them back, and it actually worked. Granted, it, they'd find out in the end, but I think they were all stronger for it. Another thing I really want to talk about in, in this movie is the musical timing in, in this movie. Oh, it's so brilliant. This has to be my, the movie that defines how to use music in any movie, because each time that there's music, it fits so well. Case in point, when Gwen Paltrow is coming off the bus to see Luke Wilson, ne uh, Nico is playing these days, just superb. Or when Mordecai is flying, uh, they're, they're playing an instrumental version of Hey Jude, which works so well. Another, another thing I want to talk about, too, is Alec Bald Baldwin as a narrator. It's not Alec Baldwin throwing something into it. It's just, it's just the sound of his voice with what's being said fits so well with what's happening in the movie. It's superb. Wes Anderson's writing is, is great. I'm not a big Wes Anderson fan, but this was just so good. I think, I think it was him and, yeah, and Owen Wilson wrote, 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 wrote this. Super writing. I mean, I'm so glad that something like this was actually written because I think 
it's it's kind of it's one of those movies that stands the test of time, really. If I think Will Harrison has left a legacy to the world, I I like to believe that's World Ten Bombs. Some people might disagree with me, but so be it. Another thing I want to talk about is the acting. I mean, everyone in this movie is so great. Even people who I don't no normally like, like like Luke Wilson, Gwyneth Paltrow, they were great. Uh, Angelica Houston, again, oh, superb. And the guy who plays Pagoda, I forget what his name is, but Pagoda is amazing. For any of you who've seen this movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Pagoda is the uh, house servant and probably Royal's best friend, but it, he just does a, such a great job with that role. It's perfect. Oh, I, like, I truly adore this movie. It's, it's amazing. If I had to give this movie a rating out of 10, it would definitely get a 10. This movie is damn, is damn near flawless. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, and so be it. I mean, you're entitled to your own views, but just to me, this movie is completely flawless in every single way possible. So, with that being said, um, thanks a lot for watching, and Matt is hopefully up tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, and I will see you guys in a week's time. Later.